All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to the Heavenly Father. Abinawi Yawba. Shema Shak Yawasha. All right, so today I'm going to be going into a little history dealing with um, uh, a Gentile with um, a testimony of our Messiah, man. And it's going to be from uh, Mara Bar Sarah, uh, Serapian on uh, Jesus, right? Mara Bar Serapian on Jesus. It says Mara Bar Serapian was a stock a stoic philosopher from the Roman province of Syria. So he was from Syria, right? He is noted for a letter he wrote in Aramaic to his son, who was named uh, Serapian. The letter was composed sometime after 73 AD, right? So after the Messiah's death, they had um, testimonies of this stuff. <clears throat> but before the third century, and, and most scholars dated uh, to shortly after 73 AD during the first century, the letter may be an early non-Christian reference to the crucifixion of Jesus, right? The Messiah. The letter refers to the unjust treatment of three wise men, the murder of Socrates, the burning of uh, Pythagoras, and the execution of the wise king of the Jews. The author explains that in all three cases, the wrongdoing resulted in the future punishment of those responsible by God, and that when they, uh, when the wise are oppressed, not only does their wisdom uh, triumph in the end, but God punishes their oppressors. The letter has been claimed to include no Christian themes, and many scholars consider Mara a pagan. Although some suggest he may have been monotheist, some scholars see the reference to the execution of a wise king of the Jews as an early non-Christian reference to Jesus. So uh, this guy, uh, Mara, he, um, he, he referenced the Messiah as the wise king of the Jews, man. Okay? He's talking about the Messiah. He ain't talking about nobody else, man. So they knew about the Messiah's fame, man. Okay? And the Gentiles. <clears throat> Criteria that support the non-Christian origin of the letter include the observation that the king of the Jews was not a Christian title and uh, that the letters uh, premise that Jesus lives on in his teachings. He enacted he enacted is in contrast to the Christian concept that Jesus continues to live through his resurrection. Right? So let's keep it going. Uh, <clears throat> go down. It says, uh, the passage in this context, Marabar Serapian's letter is preserved in a 6th or 7th century manuscript held by the British Library. Right? So, uh, the, the British Library has this guy's manuscript preserved that he wrote about the Messiah being executed and he was a wise king of the Jews and that his own people killed him, man. Come on, man. We see this. We see this. In, uh, we see our own people turning on us daily, man. We always see our people turning on us. There's nothing new. All right. The Gentile is, is even seeing it and uh, he wrote a manuscript on it. Right, Marabar Serapian's letter is preserved in a sixth or seventh century manuscript held by the British Library and, and was composed sometime between 73 AD and the third century. 19th century records state that the manuscript containing this text was one of the several manuscripts obtained by Henry, Henry uh, Tatum for the uh, monastery of St. Mary uh, de, uh, de Para in the Nitrian Desert of Egypt. Okay, so they had records, man, right, that um, this manuscript, man, was uh, one of the several manuscripts that uh, was obtained from Egypt, man, and acquired by the library in 1843, right? So uh, this was, uh, you know, spread abroad. This this um information that the Messiah was um executed, man. 
okay? And these are people that don't even believe in in in, 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 in the scriptures or the new covenant or the, or the Bible. All right, these are Gentiles. The beginning of the letter makes it clear that it is written to the author's son, Mara, the uh, son of Serapion, the son to my son, Serapion. Greetings. The key passage as it follows. What else can we say? When the wise are forcibly dragged off by tyrants, their wisdom is captured by insults, and their minds are oppressed and without defense. What advantage did the Athenians gain from murdering Socrates? Famine and plague came upon them as a punishment for their crime. Right, a punishment for their crime. What advantage did the men of Samos gain from burning Pythagoras? In a moment, their land was covered with um, sand. What advantage did the Jews gain from executing their wise king? Right, they didn't. They didn't uh, have no advantage from uh, destroying the Messiah. Right, that means they're they're going to perish in their iniquity, man. Right, you will die in the old covenant. Right, all those that executed their wise king, man, that's crucifying uh, the Messiah. Right, what advantage did the Jews gain? So he obviously ain't a Jew. He said, what advantage did the Jews gain from executing their wise king, man? Nothing, because right after the Messiah was executed, Israel got scattered. All those wicked ass Pharisees that denied the Messiah were put to death by the Romans, man. So they had no advantage uh, for executing their wise king, which was the son of God, Amashat Yahusha. Right? It was just after that their kingdom was abolished, man. Mosai took them took out. Right? God justly avenged these three wise men. The Athenians died of hunger. Uh, the uh, Samaeans were overwhelmed by the sea and the Jews desolate and driven from their own kingdom live in complete uh, dispersion but Socrates not did but a Plato neither a Pythagoras because of the statue of Juno, Juno nor is the wise king because of the new law he laid down right the new covenant man all right the messenger of the covenant right Hamashiach El Shaddai <clears throat> so uh that's what it is man um you know Marabar Serapian he uh spoke about the Messiah being um executed man right the letter has been claimed to include no Christian themes and a number of leading scholars such as uh, Sebastian Brock considered Mara a pagan, right? Uh, <clears throat> a small number of scholars suggest that Mara may have been a monotheist, right? It says the non-Christian origin of the letter is supported by the observation that King of the Jews was not a Christian title during the time period the letter was written. The statement in the letter that the wise king lives on because of the new law he, right, the eternal law he laid down is also seen as an indication of its non-Christian origin for it ignores the Christian belief that uh, Jesus continues to live through his resurrection right and that's what it is the Messiah lives through the new covenant the resurrection eternal life okay Another viewpoint is that he could be referring to the resurrection recorded in Jesus' teachings, which say he lived on, thus establishing his new law, possibly paralleling the new covenant. <clears throat> that means that it is impossible to infer if Mara believed the resurrection happened or not, and leaves it up to speculation whether he was a Christian or a non-Christian who agreed with Christians as regarding Jesus as a wise king. According to the Gospels. All right. So uh, that's what it is, man. You know, the king of the Jews, right, that was executed was the Messiah. So, uh, Shalom.